Tiwa Savage and TV presenter Charles Anazodo clash over greeting. Okay. Um, <laughs> before we go on, please, can I just res um, take back what I said? I, res I referred to the um, vice president and as Yemi. Um, it's actually Professor Yemi Oshibanjo. And um, I take that back. And um, big Apologize. respect to you, sir. And um, keep doing the good work. Okay, so um, Tiwa Savage apparently went to Beat FM, mm. right? And um, I don't know, I've never been to Beat FM, so I don't know how they are sitting arrangements or how the reception is, but mm. he was saying he was sitting somewhere and then she just came in and walked into the studio. So he decided to come on Twitter to give us a piece of his mind. I don't know. I don't know first. I have problem with people that have problem with you when you don't greet them, when they can always greet you first. Mm -hmm. If you really think that I should greet you first, you don't know, what if I didn't see you? What if, she, like she said in her own defense, she was running late for a show. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? They're always running late. <laughs> you get, they're always running late, mm -hmm. so we can even believe that part that she was truly running late for a show. And I can imagine there'll be so much pressure, like, oh, where have you been? And she's just dashing in. If you really want, you can always say, ah, Tiwa, hi. It's mm -hmm. a different thing if she ignores you and just walk. Then, then you can now come and now say, okay, Tiwa, why did you ignore? Do you understand? But you didn't even say hi to her. But you have a problem with her not saying hi to you. I don't get it. I don't like that people always come out to make these celebrities look bad. Mm. He's also a celebrity, actually. Mm, like a but celebrity. Mm. Pass. You know, is Charles Salazodo is a respected man. I know so, he's a respected yeah. man, but is he as big as Tiwa? In his field, yes. <laughs> he's a spot man. Okay. Um, he's a freelance, um, what's it called? Um, Sports journalist. No, apart from sports journalists, um, what's the popular sports sport sports. station? Super Sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. He's a freelance um, presenter mm. for Super Sports. He works on um, Channel 4 and all other stations that are freelance um, sport journalists. So I respect where. Okay, if I let me just finish, then you take it. All right, cool. Thank okay. you. So I was just going to conclude like, if you feel the need for somebody to greet you, mm -hmm. do you understand? You don't know what that, what's going on. I mean, some people walk into a place absent-minded, and if you don't call their name or something, they won't know. They'll just sit and still be looking at everybody. So if you really wanted to say hi or you wanted her to greet you, you can just say hi. Okay. And then if she ignores, then there'll probably be a problem at that point. But I don't think, I think it just got into his feelings. If I and um, basically, I think there's a sense of entitlement that comes with a lot of Nigerians. And um, I've seen in the Western world where a lot of people do not give relevance to whether you're being called a Mr. or a Sir, or a, they call you by your first name. In some relationships, when you get married to a woman that has all the kids, they call you by, if I get married to a woman that already has four kids, I will not be expecting the sense of entitlement that you should call me daddy. No, I'm not your daddy. Do you understand? Okay. So if you call me by Ife, I won't have a problem with that because that's how I, depending on the age though, that really comes into play as well. Depending on the age. Yeah, like of the kids. Okay, like if your kids call you if they... No. Yeah, if my kids okay, call me. Okay, let's stay in context though. So it's <clears> not become so wide that we now start arguing something else. So just, let's, because bringing in family is actually a big thing and there's a whole culture behind that. It with the Yorubas, when you even get married, forget about having four children or some children, you get married and they tell you if that person was not giving birth to your presence, you have to call them brother or sister. So let's not get into the larger. Do you get what I'm saying? No, but just, yeah, but I think that's like really old. It still happens. Yeah, Which but, is what I'm telling mm, you that, that I want to come into play with that sense of entitlement that a lot of Nigerians still have. Like, mm. and some people will tell you. Even up to dates, you get people that still call their sisters Auntie Biola, Auntie Bola, Auntie Shola. It's not wrong, is it? Mm. It's not wrong, mm -hmm. but is it really necessary? Mm. That's the question. Now, that auntie, has he added respect to your name? If you think he's... Auntie Mole uh, disrespect. <laughs> auntie, I kiss me, sir. I kiss me, sir. No, but... Uh, you sir, can't, with you, all due respect. Oh, you know, Mr. Mm. How about all of that? We have all of that going on in the industry. Do you understand? 
So this sense of entitlement, thinking um, a Tiwa Savvy needs to greet you first, probably because you felt you were in the same industry way before them. But you're not even in the same industry with Tiwa Savvy, which is why I brought up this old sports thing. You're, an, you're a sport journalist, and Tiwa Savage is an entertainer. So if a daddy freeze should have tweeted this, maybe we'll say, okay, they have a personal relationship. And for you to have the sense of entitlement, then it means that you probably have a personal, probably, mark my words, probably have a sense of entitlement to our greeting. Maybe you helped her in her early stage, in her career. I don't think so, because it didn't sound I'm like waiting for that. him to be done so I can say my own piece, because our time is almost up. Okay. So if you feel like Tiwa is supposed to greet you, then to an extent, maybe you have a personal relationship with her, then you could have sent her a message like, ah, Tiwa, didn't you see me earlier in the day? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Not Instead coming of to coming Twitter, to right? Twitter mm -hmm. and writing all of that. So with all due respect, sir, Mr. Charles Anazodo, I just lost respect for you because if you're waiting for someone to greet you, then mm -hmm. that is just wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take it all the way from Tiwa and all the way from Charles. I mean, I respect Charles. I've been watching Charles from NTA, like, way Oh, you know back. him. I didn't know him till I this mean, morning. Yeah, I also that, knew his wife. The wife was also a presenter who started from Nigeria Television Authority at the time. And, I mean, they've been so long in the industry. And in this space, you can actually call them veterans to an extent, right? But, in the space so, of sports. In the space of um, TV and entertainment sports. and presentation. So what I'm going to say is, take it, I said I want to take it away from them. It's not about T1 now, it's not about Charles. But I've, I feel like we should all be able to show some courtesy, regardless of what it is. So for example, I said I'm taking it away from them. So I walk into a place, and I see people seated. Actually, let me use our reception as an example. There are so many people who sit there that I don't know. But I make it a point of duty to say hi when I'm passing. I don't know them. Usually, I mean. It's, if you're coming to see me, then I'll know you. But each time I'm passing there and I see people, I say hi, I say hel hello, and I pass. It doesn't mean that you owe me anything, right? And then if I walk into a room, like what we have here, like a glamour and all that, I walked in, it's for me to say hi and pass. It doesn't mean that I have to overly say good morning, good night, but just acknowledge that people are there. So I'm just saying, for your own personal attitude, it's something that we should all try to do. Because if you walk into a gathering and you feel that people in that gathering should be the ones to just turn and recognize you and start saying hi, then maybe there is something. Now, this is off Tiwa and Charles. I'm just saying, going forward, maybe we should try to do that as young people and young generations that are trying to also help each other grow, right? Mm -hmm.